First of all, I don't know if you're watching this, but in the case that you are, I just want to request that you can take days to me more now, because I know you're waiting, so you may not even watch this, and that's okay. Hey, did you read that new fanfic that I sent you? I wrote that fanfiction. Hey, it's Liz, and it's Thursday, and if you're wondering, what the heck is she talking about fandoms at the holidays? Do me a favor. Slide this video down so that I'm just the little talking box in the corner of your screen. And type into the search bar, Christmas and stuff. You will see a playlist pop up. You do not necessarily need to click on this playlist, but look at the number of videos on it. Okay, now bring it back. Make me the big screen again. Let me have attention. Okay, cool. This is not just fan fictions. This is not just fan art. This is not just fan videos and fan music that I just pointed you to. This is the fandoms at the holidays. I would like to start by saying that everyone in the fandoms is so incredibly talented and I have no idea how that's even a thing. You know, there's something special that happens in this month of December and it brings all of us together with one big obsessed family. And that just shows itself through all of the various types of fan arts that exist out there including everything that is art, so writing and actual drawings and all of that stuff. Because, I mean, are you ever just like scrolling through your Tumblr during this time of year? Because if not, I highly suggest it because, you know, especially if you follow some really good artists, you're just going to see all of this stuff popping up everywhere. And there's just something about the holidays that brings fandoms closer. When you're reading something Christmas, you know, like if you listen to a Christmas song that the Palmstuck fandom made, you're guaranteed to have car cats swearing profusely in it and being snarky and angry like he always is. It's quality and it's true to canon in a way that doesn't make it, you know, annoying to read. I think my favorite part is probably scrolling through Pinterest or whatever and seeing adorable fan art because, first of all, the Percy Jackson fandom just, I don't think you guys get enough attention in the world because your art is so good. And I love seeing things about Percy and Annabeth or about Frank and Hazel or just about Nico. Nico's adorable, so I love hearing things about, you know, and seeing fan art pop up and even reading fan fiction. This is like the one fan fiction I'll actually write, you know? that stuff that's like it warms my heart because I don't know there's just <laughs> it warms my heart and it's adorable and that's also like the first kind of fan fiction or fan art I was ever exposed to so I guess I have a little bit of a bias but it's just it's really good and then bring in the Homestuck fandom and just Homestuck fandoms talented at everything and I don't even know where they came from because they're just I don't really have much to say because I feel like this isn't something I can tell you, it's something I can show you. Like, seriously, insert montage. And then I'm also going to link some of my favorite Christmas fan fictions because, you know, everything's just so freaking adorable and I love it. Although, can we talk about the fandom at Christmas, this Christmas, specifically today? Okay, like, right before I made my video on Tuesday, they upload pinoffs right and I'm like all right man that's cool and then today before I upload I get a Dan and Phil games notification and it's like hey I'm here and I'm like hey and then I watch it and they're like so we're thinking about doing a video every day leading up until Christmas and I'm like and I thought I was ambitious I feel like the fandom that I'm most a part of that I don't really talk about that much in my videos or on my channel that much would be the fandom YouTube, it's a space. Let's be real, there's some really cute fan art and things that just happen that happens during this time of year. I'm like, ah. I bet the Night Vale fandom is really good at Christmas too. 
I need to go investigate that. This video wasn't really much of anything and it was like shorter than most of my other videos are, which not that that's a bad thing. I feel like my videos need to be shorter and I'm like, I babble a lot and then I have like all of these long pauses that are kind of choppy to edit out and it's just, <sighs> I will actually be back tomorrow because I have to be, <laughs> you know, because I won't be able to record on Saturday. But anyways, I will be back tomorrow and it'll be fun. So if you like this video, hey, give it a thumbs up and you know leave a comment below what is your favorite part about being a, in a fandom during the holidays like tell me what's your favorite fan art your favorite fan fiction what is a shit that you just get some really good things out of during the holiday you know follow me in the links in the description box below like i said i will be posting some of my personal racks because you know that's just kind of what i do and you know be a bro share this video with another bro and if you have not done so yet subscribe